Hi, we are here today with Mercedes Ga Gavassi. Hi. From Mercy Studio, or Mercy Pottery, excuse me. Um, we're going to do a little bit more of an in depth interview. You might have seen the videos that we did before about the studio. Um, but today, I wanted to do a little bit more of a deep dive with her so we can learn a little bit more about you, your inspiration, how you got started in this crazy business as an artisan, okay. and, um, and go from there. And then we'll show some of her artwork, which is beautiful, and you know I'm a pottery person. So um, anyway, and while we're talking, we're going to be playing with clay. Fun. <laughs> so, um, Mercy. Yeah. They call you Mercy, yes. right? Yes. Um, you're from Argentina, correct? Yes, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh -huh. um, I moved here like six years ago because of my husband's jobs. Oh. My husband's job. So, um, mm -hmm. so I'm very happy to be here uh -huh. in Miami. You like Miami? I like it a lot. I like it's a it a little lot. bit different from Buenos Aires. Oh, yeah, especially the weather. <laughs> <laughs> right? You I have know. like a long, long forever summer and just a few days of winter and that's it <laughs> and also the food is not as great uh, well you have it's different i mean it's different but you have you have options here and um and you have a deep, like very diverse you have, yeah you have everything you know, yeah there is a lot of argentinian restaurants right yeah yeah it's fun so i understand that you originally were working in wood as a artisan or what were you making and tell me a little bit more about the so, wood. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Um, so I have um, my bachelor is in interior design and I specialize in interior design. Interior designer, right, uh -huh. yeah. So um, I specialize in furniture design. So that oh. took me to, you know, learn some carpentry because I felt like it was good to know how wood works, even yeah. though you design it, but it's not the same right. building it. So. Right. Um, that took me to carpentry, and I always like to do things with my hands, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's very important. That that's, mm -hmm. um, and then, so, I, I couldn't do ceramics when I was in Argentina because, because of the job, you know, time I was studying, it was like very hard to find a time. Mm -hmm. When I moved here, um, I had a lot of free time, so that's, mm -hmm. that's how I started, you know, I could, I signed up for a course and that was it for me, like I fell in love with it. I fell in love with pottery. Yes, yeah. I fell in love with it. Um, and it really is very, it's, it's natural, uh, um, it's, it's a natural substrate, you know, it's like wood, clay, it's all from the earth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so it, it, I can see how one leads to the other. Yeah, yeah. Even though they don't work the same way, mm -hmm. wood work is very tough on your body, especially, you know, I, I'm not that strong, <laughs> I'm not that big, but, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's But I think amazing. also like, in, yeah, in pottery, you use your body in order to really build, whereas with wood, it's, yeah. you know, you need some muscle but power. But you grow with the weight too, so you get used to every weight and it's very like um, slow growth. But uh -huh. you do it on wood, you know, the wood like, is very heavy. <laughs> yes, <that's> <laughs> yes. So, uh, okay, wait, I'm very busy here because I'm trying to, making something very nice specific. Nice yeah. <laughs> um, so is anybody else in your family an artist? No, no. My father is an engineer, my mom is um, a teacher, and my sister is a vegetarian, a vet. So. Okay, so everybody's kind of in the sciences, so yeah. art is kind of like the total other side of the brain, right? Mm -hmm. So how did you discover that creative spirit in you, like? In high school, so I had this, um, this teacher that it was a graphic designer, and mm -hmm. I don't know, he, he showed me a, like a different word. I didn't know anything about design mm -hmm. or um, interior design or I just knew architecture and that was not something that I wanted to do that was not my you know I was yeah. I did I did uh, I wanted something more creative yeah so that's what spoke to you yes. it wasn't the mm -hmm. uh, you know architecture or drawing or the engineering part right no the creative right. process it's the creative yes. process that's mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. yeah no that's that's awesome um, so 
being an artist is, you know, a total, what is it, left side of the brain is creative. <laughs> Is that it? So, but then, so you took a deep dive into pottery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you just loved it and you really just embraced it. And then you decided to open a studio. Yeah. Like what, that's a whole other thing. That's, a, that's like a business already. And I think also with, with that, you know, so many artists, they're creatives, but they struggle with the business aspect of things. So I'm really interested in learning more about how you decided to make a business out of it and, and you know, like some of the challenges and stuff yeah. like that so, that you have. Yeah, um, so I decided to open a studio after the pandemic because, well, every studio, I used to work in another studio, but she closed down yeah. and she moved. Um, so it was like self-defense. <laughs> yeah. So there was no other studio here, and that's why I decided to open. I, I decided to invest in myself, and you know, and and see where it goes. It mm -hmm. could go wrong, of course, and it could, you know, we'll see. We <laughs> I don't just, know. Oh, I, I opened one year ago, and it's been great, but you never know. Uh, I it's, think it's, okay, so you're here a year. Yes. Very cool. Uh huh. Uh, so I work with Prospera. It's a um, Nonprofit that helps entrepreneur to establish here in Miami. It's in Miami only, okay. But no, it's in Miami. I think it's in Chicago or New York. In a, it's in some um, mm -hmm. countries in Latin America. Um, but it's there. They help me a lot, and they're a great. You know, they're a great. They they get, they give you great advice, mm -hmm. and you can apply to like even money. It's a, if it's an issue, because it's not. You know, it's not yeah, it takes open. money to start yeah, a business, right. you know? They, they grant, you know, they give you the opportunity to apply for grants, different grants. So That's yeah. amazing. Uh -huh. yeah. That's so, that's very good to know. And so you, ha you have a studio where you have students. You can become a member here. Mm -hmm. So anybody who's in Miami and is inspired by, you know, or would like to try their hand at ceramics is... Yeah you know, join Mercy Pottery. And let me remind you, she is in uh, at Ironside, Miami, which is sort of like south, uh, I mean, north of downtown area. She, to be exact, what are we, seven? Miami Shores. Miami, Miami Shores, Shores. So Little River. Yeah, Little River. So it's like 70, what 79 on 4th Court. And 4th Court, yeah. right. So Mercy Pottery. It's a very nice space, very magical. Ironside, it's a very magical, like, community uh -huh. we all you know we help each other out I, it's kind of a creative space in here it is, isn't it it? is. It, when you walk around it's all like it's a combination of retail and um and uh, like design architecture offices mm -hmm. um that kind of a thing so what, so what are the lessons, some of the lessons that you've learned in so, starting your business? Like what have you, you know, the big takeaways? So, and <laughs> yeah, of course. So I learned that you have to trust yourself. That's that's first step. Mm -hmm. um, you have, to, I'm not saying you have to be cocky or confident. I'm just saying like trust your instinct. Like yeah. this is what, this whatever idea that you have is something that comes from your heart. I feel like even though it doesn't, I don't know, you don't gain a lot of money or whatever, it's, it's good that you try it, it's good for your soul, so that's one part. And then hard work, you have to work a lot. Yeah. And be able to do it and focus and, and learn and, and ask for help um, mm -hmm. and learn from others and don't be afraid of trying, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when Go you talk about trusting yourself, absolutely, you know, you have to believe in yourself. You, you have to believe yeah. in yourself. It's yeah. not about being cocky or, you know, anything like that. But in order to do anything or achieve anything in life, you have to, like, take the leap and, mm -hmm. and, and believe, you and know. And take chances, you know. Yeah. Take risks. Sometimes... Exactly. You're gonna, you know, sometimes you're gonna make mistakes, and you have to deal with it. Yeah. And, and, and and I always look at the mistakes as learning experiences. Oh, me, me too, me too. I think you learn more from your mistakes than from your success. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So what were some of the things that you did that were 
you, you were like, oh God, you know, what did I just do? And then you know, what, what were some of your successes? So tell me what you got wrong and tell me what you got right. I'm still learning, but yeah, <laughs> I do a lot of things wrong. <laughs> I'm not very good, like really, I think my, my worst thing is marketing and, oh, and, and so, Instagram so and social media, and that's very important. And Nowadays, it's super yeah, important. Yeah, it's very important. And that's why we're here to yeah. help you So spotlight. thank you so much. <laughs> because we are really all about supporting artisans. Um, as the artisan huntress, that's what I do, is find really unique, amazing people that are doing creative things in communities and, you know, and share the love because... We have to, you know, we're all better together. Yeah, you know? I think so too. Uh, um, okay, so what 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 inspires you? Like, how do you get up every day and like do this? And then also in your art, like, what what do you you know? You come in here and you say, all right, now what am I gonna make? So, um, <laughs> what inspires me a, a lot, like, is nature. That's yeah. something that I think. A lot of artists we have there, um, but I'm more into relationships. Mm. Oh. How, yeah, how people connect. That's beautiful. With uh, strangers and with people who are friends and family that you know you can totally connect in a very deep way with someone that you met like 15 minutes and not have any connection at all with I don't know. Your with other people, yeah, you know? exactly. So that's what, like, right? Wow. You can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family, kind right. of a thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And your friends are your people that believe in you and that you connect with, and mm -hmm. you feel safe around. Yeah, and it's not the same friends when you are, you know, ten years old or when you are thirty. Sure. So that's what more. That's what makes me, you know, attracts me more. That's my my inspiration, yeah. and I try always to make pieces that has uh, some, you know, trying to express that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to. So I did this collection. I am cute. It's an, I mean, I'm, I, I'm still doing it. It's a collection that is called Quote, that is all about that, of people who met, you meet, I don't know, in, in the train and you just immediately connect. You connect. I don't know. That's just, amazing. Yeah. That's, I love that. Um, so how do you show that? Like, how are you showing that connection? Like, so I make this. Let me bring the piece yeah, for you. Good. Um, this is one of my pieces. So talk to me about this. So this beautiful is my collection, piece. and this is, I mean, one of the pieces of my collection. Um, so what I was trying to express is just, can you know, you this see? Can everybody see that? It's heavy too. It's oh heavy. My God. Yeah. Uh, can and you see gold that? On and it. we'll do a close up. We're going to do a little slideshow at the end of, of her stuff, but it's beautiful. So, yes. I, what I was thinking when I did this is like the piece is like a heart, and all little things are the people that you, strikes your heart. Like, oh, this is like the aorta or something. It's like one of the chambers of the heart. I mean, it's not like very figurative. Like, it's the idea of like every piece is part of your heart, you yeah. know? like. You put your soul, when you're an artist, you put, you know, you put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> for everyone to, ex to judge or whatever. Yeah, it's scary to be an artist. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And all these little holes are the people like, stay there, you know. In and your you, heart. Yeah. That's, that was my inspiration. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. I love that so much. This is a gorgeous piece, by the way. I hope you can see the glaze, I mean, just the shape of it, now that I understand what it is, it's really so meaningful, and that's what I mean about context. And then the gold is, why did you, why gold, like? Well, you know, because it's shiny, it's very shiny, uh -huh. and it's like light, mm -hmm. and people sometimes are like in your heart. They, Absolutely, they sparkle, they, they light sparkle. up your heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, it sounds corny, but you know, mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> um, all right, so when you are doing pottery, what are some of the things that you like to do? So right now, I mean, I, I like to train and, you know, go to the gym or do some exercise. You like that? Because like most that. people don't, they do it, but they don't love it. Well, I don't like it either, but I do it. <laughs> yeah, but um, 
but now, well, I have a baby. She's one year and a half. Oh my so, god! That's yeah. So cute. Where was she? Thank where you. was she born? Here. Here. here yeah, she of was course. born here. Oh my god! I, I know. I saw pictures. She's adorable. She's <laughs> thank a little you. cutie pie. Does she play with clay yet? Not yet. Not allowed. Not yet. No. What a mess that would oh, be. Oh yeah, it will break everything. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! That's so cute. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I. I mean, I'm. I'm so I stay I like with family. Yeah. yeah you right know, now, the young between. Yeah. Running this thing, doing your, do you have even time to do your art? It's hard. Well, that's one of the downsides of having your own business. It's hard yeah. to do your art. So it's a balance yeah. that you have to find with time and, and a lot of effort and, mm -hmm. you know, and learn how to be organized. Yeah, that's, I'm still on that path. I'm yeah. learning. I'm still right. learning. Yeah. And uh, so, all right, so you are teaching classes in the studio mm -hmm. yeah. and you're doing wheel throwing. Yeah. And, and hand, hand building. building. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do, what do you personally love more? Do you like oh, wheel the wheel throwing. or hand? Oh, wheel throwing for sure. That's oh, really? My, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think you need both. You have to you learn have to have both. both. Yeah. Um, to combine and, and do whatever you want to do is good. Yeah. But wheel throwing for me is oh, hypnotic and therapeutic. It's, it is. It is. It's, you have to be so in the moment in order to do it. It is like a meditation. I it really is. believe that. Yes, yes. So, no, that's really, that's yeah, really and very it, cool. Like, it's obliged you to leave your phone there on the side and just mm -hmm. be in the moment. Right. So it's good for, you know, for stress. <laughs> It, it, it really is. It is. Yeah. And if anybody has a hard time meditating and dropping in, guaranteed to help you drop in because you have to be 100% focused. Absolutely. And I always like to say, like, the first thing you have to do when you throw, which is what they call when you make stuff on a wheel, mm -hmm. um, is you have to center your clay. And I always say centering is a metaphor for life because in order to live your best life, I feel like we are always working at staying centered mindful in the moment and really true to our own who we are in our own feelings so I, I feel agree. like that's super important just for life and then you know clay yeah so um, so you know any advice to people who want to take that leap to really start doing their art whether it's pottery or painting or wood or whatever art form there's and there's so many and yeah. you know there's so much out there that you can do um what would be your advice? advice to them in terms of getting started and how they could get started and um so first of all i like do it just sit there and buy some clay or paint or whatever you want to do and just start doing it if you are taking classes then ask your instructor to give you some advice or some guidance, that's always good. And I, I, I'm still learning. Um, and I don't, you know, uh, I keep, you have to keep doing it and keep experimenting and, you know, make mistakes and learn from them. Um, things at first gonna, you know, pieces can explode on the kiln and, you know, it's part of the deal. Right, you have to just do and as you yeah. do, you learn and... Be persistent, that's... Don't give up. Don't give up. Be, Don't give up. Keep doing up. it. And, and believe in yourself. That's key to whatever you want to do in your life. Believe Absolutely. in yourself. And um, focus a lot of reading and research. That's important. Yeah. Research, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I think and that help. Does. Ask help. If Absolutely. you don't know something, then ask for someone to help you out and teach you. Or Right. Mm -hmm.